Now then YouTube, I am the Toff Man and with great pleasure, absolutely great pleasure, I can bring a new part of extra bees. There has been some new machines that have been added and I would like to tell you guys about them. Now it's still in development version which means there are still bound to be bugs around the place and there are still things that are going to be fixed. Um, I'm I'm also going to be showing the bugs that I found so far because I know that Binny at some stage will probably watch in this and uh, you know he it's it's easier trying to get in touch with him through my videos than uh, than it is trying to get in touch with him just in general so I'm going to be showing some bugs that are in there as well you guys can just ignore that but uh, extra bees for 1.4.2 guys I'm really excited about this I love extra bees um, anybody who can remember that massive tutorial mod spotlight that I did that spanned about eight eight maybe nine episodes or was it eight I can't remember just how many episodes it was it was that many of them um, but I went through the the machines that were introduced the first machines that were introduced into extra bees and of course all of the different types of bees that were introduced into extra bees including all of the uh, the mutations and stuff like that as well and I really can't wait to get stuck back into extra bees with some of these new cool looking machines not just cool looking machines but actually really really good functional machines as well that do some really really good jobs um, that make things that make life a lot easier yet a lot better and I will get right into that guys coming up okay this is a little bit of a bug here for uh, Binny now I don't know if he's saw my bug report that I put in on you know over the extra bees little website thing that he's got going I did do a bug report on this but it seems to me that in any eye for some strange reason this only happens with um, with extra bees once I take extra bees out you know um, it, it doesn't happen but if I go to page 9 page 8 roundabout ish everything disappears there you go it just absolutely disappears I've got no idea what it is I've got I think it's got something to do with these templates here that's say uh, that's part of extra bees but I, I'm not quite sure what's happening there but I mean once it's done that nothing's there anymore um, which is a which is a shame I mean the recipes and still uh, all that works but uh, that's just a little bit of a bug report there for for Binny and um, I'll be doing a uh, there's a couple of other little things that I would like to mention as well going forwards but anyway without further ado onto the mod spotlight itself okay so the first machine that I'd like to show you guys is the advanced genetic uh, machine that is the basic building block of all these advanced genetics machines that I'm going about to uh, go into uh, the the advanced genetic machine let's just take a look at the recipe for that um, requires a nether star that's right guys this requires a nether star so it's not exactly very easy to to come by uh, it also requires the original genetic machine a large circuit board and six diamonds to boot and remember this is only one component and the main component of all four of these machines going forward with the extra bees at the minute is currently version 1.4.1.5 so if something has changed or anything in the future then um, but, you know all the links that will be in the description guys you can go over and check the change logs and see if anything has been changed or fixed or, or added or something like that but this is currently 1.4.1.5 and if anything changes anything gets added in the future then you can bet my bottom dollar even though I don't work in dollars I work in quids but uh, you can bet my bottom dollar that I will be putting another video out so onto the first machine that's been added into extra bees this advanced genetics um, is called the isolator this is this little thing here now the isolator requires buildcraft power let's just go into the interface on it just a second uh, the it requires buildcraft power you can see there mega joules um, it's 99 percent charged and you can see right in the background there there's a big engine room that I got ready for this and this is really really quite simple and I'll get to it in uh, in just a second but uh, this is the, another bug report here for Binny that I would like to say if you've clicked on your inventory which is here and you try to press E to come out of the isolator it doesn't actually do it I'm pressing E nothing's working I've got to actually click on this interface then press E to come out of it but that's just a little thing nothing too much it's just I've done that plenty of times when trying to sort all these things out I'm like ah, so annoying but uh, never mind the isolator is crafted as follows you need three emeralds that's right guys three emeralds on top of your genetic you know advanced genetic machine four blaze rods and uh, redstone so it's not cheap it definitely isn't cheap but what it does is really really good um, 
Oh, I've just done it again. Right, let's get myself a princess, and we're just going to grab the first one because I can't see much what's going on in there. Now, let me get myself a bee Elizer as well, just so that I know the traits of this bee. There it is. And some honey drops, otherwise I can't do anything at all. There they are. Good stuff. Put them in there. I just put that in there, and then I've got to actually click on it again for it to do anything. You can see it's got its inactive genes, uh, its active genes, sorry, and its inactive genes. Well, taking that out, what we're going to do now is put our forest princess in the isolator. And you can see here, it's not currently doing anything. Ah, I know exactly why. Um, and that's because I haven't put any empty serum vials. Serum, serum, serum vials. Now currently there isn't actually, through any eye, there they are, through any eye, there isn't a, uh, a recipe for these guys, but I would think they've got something to do with the thermionic fabricator, but uh, you know, that's just a, a guess, but that's probably because, uh, that's probably why I can't actually see them. You need the empty serum vials in there, and what that will do is it will isolate certain genes from this forest princess and put them into separate vials. And I'm going to show you that right now once this gets up to the top. So guys, we've got something here. Slowest productivity serum. It's an average quality, and I'll get into that in just a second. But basically, you can see there, slowest worker. That's part of its gene makeup the, of the forest princess there, is the slowest worker. And it's just, it's pulled out that and we didn't manage to get something from that one. But uh, that's basically what this does. It pulls out individual genes from any bee that you put in here and puts them into empty serum vials. And then, you, of course, you get the serum vial uh, that you can actually do something further on with. This is the basic machine that you will want to do before you can do anything else with the advanced genetic machines. We've got something else here. That's another slowest productivity. But for the moment, I've shown you exactly what that does. You get different things and bits and bobs like that as well. Let's go into this chest and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Earlier on I put an acidic princess in there. You can see it's a slower worker. It's short life. It's got its temperature which is like normal slash both one. So we've got the acidic ser uh, species serum. So you can actually turn something into an acidic bee. Although I'm not quite sure how that actually works. Which I'll get onto that further on when I get to a different machine. But uh, we've got the both one temperature tolerance serum. We've got the slowest flowering serum. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, and, of course, we've got another both one temperature tolerance serum as well. Um, but we're going to go through with these ones that you can see right in front of me here. And we're going to move on to the second machine. If I missed anything out on this machine, Binny, then, you know, by all means, uh, put it in the comments section so that other people can see. But I think that's the basic general gist of, of everything what's going on there. Um, right then, this next machine is called the Purifier. It's crafted as so with three eye of enders, an advanced genetic machine, four tanks, and a redstone. And this thing actually requires build craft power and liquid DNA. Liquid DNA can be got from the gene pool, which is part of um, my first mod spotlight that I did on Extra Bees. Moving on, okay, we've got the purifier. It's all full of liquid DNA. So what are we doing? What do we do with the purifier? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, you get the serums. This is, you can see that they've got an average quality, these serums here. We actually put the serums into the purifier. You can see this little progress bar. That's going to go right the way up. And um, <clears throat> you have a chance there of changing the quality of your serum. And I think what it means is... Um, you have less failures, I think. You have less failures. You can see it's eating up the liquid DNA there. You have less chance of any kind of failures with a higher quality serum. Um, we're just going to go through here and let that do that. Did I do anything else? No, I don't think I actually did. I think I used it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You can see now it's gone up to good quality serum. And that is what the purifier does. It uses liquid DNA to actually purify the serum that you've got there. 
So guys, on to the next machine, which is called the Replicator. Um, after you've used the Isolator to isolate your DNA, and you've got a vial of average quality, you can then move on and put it into your purifier to get one of good quality, slash, I don't know if there's any better than that, because that's all I've really done so far. Um, and then, the next machine in the line is the Replicator itself. Now the Replicator is uh, crafted like so, with four soul sand, two tanks, a glass, and a redstone. And let's have a look at the Replicator. It also requires Buildcraft Energy, Megajoules, and it also requires Liquid DNA. Now I've actually got Liquid DNA filtered through from a gene pool that I've actually put down there in the wall there, so you can't really see what's going on. I've, do I've covered all that in the original Extra Biomes playlist. There is a playlist, guys. Go over and check it out if you haven't. If you, um, if you can't find it for whatever reason, you can also go onto the links in the description, which is uh, Binny's website, and there's a tutorial section in there, which my videos are also part. Of. So the replicator, what does the replicator do? Well it requires, like I said, liquid DNA and buildcraft power. It also requires empty serum vials and also requires your good quality serum. Now there's no progress bar in this just at the minute. That's another little bug report. I don't know if there's meant to be, but there isn't one at the minute. You can't see what's going on. Um, you've just got to leave it there. You can see it's working because the, the power's getting sucked out of the replicator there. So we've just got to really just wait it out and some, something happens. And there we have it. We can see that the replicator has actually replicated this slowest productivity serum, good quality, and it's actually it's just replicated it. Now I think it's I think now again this is like de development build, and I've only just found out about this particular one today. But I think that this uh, this serum here has around about 16 uses. So you can replicate it 16 times before this disappears. Um, at the minute there isn't any kind of like progress bar or, or I can't remember what you call it, uh, damage bar or something on this serum to actually say that you know you've got a certain amount left of this. But you can see that it's replicating quite nicely and that is exactly what the replicator does. It doesn't do much more than that. Lovely. So once you've now isolated any genes that you want, you've then purified your serum to a good quality, and you've then used your replicator to replicate many of the same thing, well, you've got a, a load of these slowest productivity serum, and uh, you know, this is a bad example of something that you would probably want to try and clone out of a, um, a, a, a bee. You probably want something that's like fast productivity or something like that. Um, you know that th this is just for example purposes so you want to do something with that well this is where the next machine comes in the inoculator which is where the be all and end all of genetically modifying your bees actually happens and i really do like this guys i've got to tell you i love extra bees and this guy Binny, he keeps adding stuff that just makes me think wow you know what i really wish that i could mod i really do wish that i could mod but um anyway Let's get into the recipe for the inoculator, which is five magma creams, and you will not believe how hard they are to come across. Uh, advanced genetic machine again, you've got the redstone, and then you've got two empty serum vials. Now the inoculator itself, it looks complicated, but it really isn't quite that bad. Um, you put a B there, or is it there? In fact, yes, it is there. You want your serum, you know, your good quality serum, your great quality serum, whatever it is, you want to put that in that slot there, then you've got this hypodermic needle or whatever you want to call it, um, and then you put a, a bee in there. Now of course I don't want to go and use this uh, this forest bee because that wouldn't be very good of me, would it? So let's go and try and get a different bee that's, uh, that's slightly different. Let's get a meadows. Is that slow worker as well? Let's find out. Speed slowest. It's the slowest worker. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Now, you you can shift click into these machines as well now, which is great. So you can see now, you've got the serum in there, you've got this hypodermic needle, you've got this B. Uh, well, what's going to happen then? It should... Hmm. It should start pumping this serum, this slowest, oh no, it's actually slowest. It's still the same bloody thing, isn't it? So it's not going to actually do anything at all. Right, just bear with me one second, guys. Okay, so here we are, we're back with this, guys, and we've got a slowest productivity here, and we're putting it into one with a, a slower worker, not slowest, but slower, and you can see there's this little progress bar here, and uh, what I'm actually going to do for a little bit of a test for myself is I'm going to get 
couple more wintry princesses there and I'm going to actually shove them in the top slot there because what should happen is when, once this is finished if there's any queue up there it should then pop this down here and move one in from up here what I have found when I, when I was testing is when there's only one bee in here it will just constantly try to put the same thing in all the time now I don't know I don't, I don't know why that happens but we'll just have a look here once this hypodermic needle has gone all the way down to here and see what happens Okay, so we're very nearly at the end of this little needle now, so we're going to see what's going to happen to this uh, wintry princess. Now, really quickly, I've actually gone and um, analysed these other two bees here as well to see what's going to come up with them. But we're very nearly there, we're very nearly finished. What's going to happen? Oh, a crash. Don't worry, I will take a note of that, and then I will send that. Okay, guys, well, a little bit of a problem there. I had to actually physically remove forestry because... I don't think what the problem was was it, it was with the inoculator. What I think the problem is um, <coughs> is editing the bee and the bee itself. Uh, I tried breaking this machine. I could come back into the world, which was perfect, but then uh, I broke the machine, which obviously meant the contents went flying everywhere, and then I just couldn't get back into the world at all. I had to physically remove forestry to get back into the world. Um, so I'm just going to try this one more time. I've got uh, a forest species vial there. Uh, and a no, humidi uh, no humidity tolerance. Okay. So something a little bit different there. And what we're going to do... is get a wintry princess. Put the forest species in there. I need a bealizer as well, don't I? Apologies. I don't know what quite happened there, guys, I've got to say. Oh, we already know what that one is. And we already know what that one is, but we just needed to do it for purposes of this. So, we've got our forest species in there. We're going to put the wintry princess species in there I think what it was is something to do there's something not quite right there I've taken uh, I've taken a note of the crash log anyway and I'll give that to Benny next time I, I see him so basically it's just now a question again of wait until this runs down and then seeing what happens to the wintry princess here okay we're down to the needle now we're down to the needle we're gonna see if this works this time come on what should happen is you'll see that it turns from a wintry princess to a... Oh, hang on, what will, it, what will actually happen? Ah, there you are. Now it actually worked. But um, you can see that it's still in that slot there. I don't, know if it, I don't know if this is a bug or not, because of course you can see the, the forest species there and there. It just continues to keep going. Now, I don't know if it's a bug, the fact that it's not actually switching itself down here. You see forest wintry hybrid princess there but uh, you can get the general gist of what the inoculator does basically the inoculator injects the serum into any type of bee uh, essentially allowing you to customize your bee however much you you like to what I want to know though is no actually it doesn't because it's a forest wintry not a wintry forest uh, I was wondering if it only edited the inactive gene rather than the one that was active because on the the tests that I did before this video, it only edited the ones that, uh, that was um, inactive. But I'm so I'm, I'm sure that Binny had put something in the comments anywhere, saying bits and bobs about certain questions. If anybody's got any, um, <clears throat> again, guys, I must stress this is a development version. If you value your worlds, just like what's happened to mine now, if you value your worlds, then I was seriously back up before using this mod. Um, and just keep regular backups. God, that was loud. That was actually quite loud, guys. So we're going to see what happens when it comes along to this. Because, of course, it can't inject the forest species again, surely. Unless it does the inactive gene and just turns it straight into a forest. That would be uh, quite weird. Let's have a look. No, it's not... I don't know why, but it's just not... It's not moving them down into there. I don't know what this is for actually. What is this for? That could be something totally different guys. It may be that that line there is something for totally different. So that's probably why I can't use it. 
But you can see there that that is the general gist of how the inoculator works. So just to recap, guys, uh, the isolator, which I had to actually put back to get another uh, isolated gene. The isolator, when supplied with bees, it fills empty serum vials, you can see there, with certain bee attributes that you've put into there. So it will only take an attribute from the bee that you put in. Pretty simple, really. What was here, which was the purifier, uh, you can put in your serum from the isolator to get better quality serums. The replicator, which was here, uh, the replicator replicates the serum you just put into the left-hand side. Uh, empty vials go into the slot on the top right. And I think that the uses that these serums have are around about 16. I think. Or is that on the inoculator? I'm not quite sure which way around that is. Um, I don't know if it can be, like, endlessly replicated. But we'll see. Uh, the inoculator, again, inoculate, uh, the inoculator injects the serum into any type of bee, uh, allowing you to customise your bee whichever way you please. So that would be very well if it, if it worked with the uh, slowest worker kind of thing there. But uh, like I said, guys, it is an in-development in version, so you've got to expect these bugs and problems and stuff like that. So just to let you guys know that uh, Extra Bees is out. The link to it is in the description. It is 1.4.2. There are bound to be some bugs and problems. Um, there is, on that website that I'm going to send you to to get extra bees, there is a report bugs kind of little page there, and it'll take you to the um, like GitHub or something like that so, so you can actually report the bug there. But anyway, guys, um, if anybody's got any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask, either myself or if Bin is watching this video and has read, in, you know, read some of the comments to see what people are saying, then I'm sure that he will, he will answer some of your questions as well. But anyway, guys, um, I have been the soft man. This has been Extra Bees. I'm really looking forward to it getting more and more stable uh, and, and looking forward to using it. But until next time, I have been the soft man, and as always, stay safe.